All right, we just watched uh, SmackDown before the show started here, and uh, some news coming out of it. Uh, Roman Reigns, Goldberg is taking place at the Elimination Chamber. Ronda Rousey and Charlotte Flair is the SmackDown Women's title match for WrestleMania. And I thought Ronda was a thousand times better on this show than she was on Raw. Yeah, she, she, I believe that people were talking to her about Monday. And, uh, yeah. She, she came out smiling. She, she was she, slapping hands with the fans. They chanted her name, and she smiled at them. Yeah, she acknowledged the fans. She was very, very bitter coming back, and I think that that was not a good attitude to have, uh, especially since she's being portrayed as a baby face. Um, pure, you know, I mean, it's not like people, when they saw her, they goes, oh, my God, she's she's being healed. It's like, no. That's just Rhonda. And then they had to talk her out of basically going, these people are cheering you. You have to acknowledge them. You don't mean mug them. So, um, it was more than on Raw. It looked like she didn't even want to work there. Like she was, she was forced at gunpoint to do this wrestling thing. At least on SmackDown, it looked like she wanted to be there. I th- that, look, was the biggest, that was the biggest look, change look, to me. Look. Okay, so here's the deal. She wants to be there because she doesn't have to do this. Well, sure. She, so, but as a so, viewer, it did not look like that on Monday. No, because she hates the fans because of them turning on her. But you have to let that go. And they explained, I mean, I presume somebody explained her. I know people who talk to her about certain things. But it was explained, you know, that you have to let that go. Because if you're going to be bitter about that, um, you're, you're, you know, it's you're not you're not supposed to be a heel. And if you're bitter at the fans, you're not going to be a very good baby face. So, yeah, she was way, way better. You know, one thing that was very interesting is somebody who was there live had mentioned to me that, um, you know, when when they, they kept showing the graphics over and over, you know, Ronda Rousey coming and all this, it seemed like there was no reaction to, to her in the graphics. And it's going like, oh, my God, she's going to come out. It's going to be like nothing. And then she comes out and you know, it's the biggest reaction of the night, bigger than Roman Reigns. Um, pure baby face reaction. So there you go. And it kind of reminds me of the guy, you know, um, the person who that reminds me of a lot was Hogan, where I remember I would go to shows, TV tapings, and they would mention Hogan's name and they do the Hogan graphic and everybody boos, boo, 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 Hulk Hogan, right? Then he comes out and the place comes out to the music, he does his whole Hogan routine, and the place goes crazy. Yeah, this happened a lot in, uh, like, 94, 95, when he was in WCW. Um, through the WCW babyface turn at the end. Yeah. It happened in um, 89 and 90, when he was doing the program with Warrior, where he was getting booed, and everybody thought that, like, the night of the match, you know, it's probably one of the reasons, I mean, one of the reasons, not the main reason that Vince put Warrior over, was because, you know, every building they went to, they would announce the match, and it was like, don't forget WrestleMania, Hulk Hogan, and you know, Hulk Hogan, Ultimate Warrior, and Finkel would do the whole big thing, and they would always boo Hogan, and they would always cheer Warrior like crazy. Come to Toronto, the night of the show, and Hogan was cheered more than Warrior, and um, you know, it's some people are. It's just an interesting thing of how. People will, um, you know, not like someone. They'll tell someone they don't like them. But when they come out there and they're stars, for whatever reason, they get caught up in liking them, even against their whatever. You know, it's just a very interesting phenomenon. And Hogan was the one, you know, that that was like that. And there were others, um, you know, I mean, over the years and everything like that. But. Rhonda fits into that thing where people will say they don't like her. They, you know, but when she comes out, they get caught up in this that she's a star. At least right now, that could change again. If Rhonda has some bad outings, it will dissipate very quickly because this is the honeymoon period. But um, yeah, she did well. She did well in Oklahoma City and uh, the matches they're looking for. She's doing a bunch of house shows. They're doing. Um, uh, Rhonda and I believe it's Rhonda and Sasha Banks against Charlotte Flair and Shayna Baszler are going to be some of the house show matches. And um, they did 
in Oklahoma City, uh, what was it? Um, um, I think it was they they did a, a, a tag match where it was supposed to be Charlotte Flair in the dress right after Raw, uh, SmackDown ended. They did a match and Charlotte Flair's in the dress, right, teaming with uh, uh, who did they send out? Natalia against. Rhonda and I believe Naomi. I'm not sure about that, but I was Rhonda and a partner. And you know, Charlotte never tags in, and Rhonda just beats uh, Natty very quickly. And um, so, you know, that's that's what they did there. Um, and yeah, um, she threw. She did that Olympic Slam deal on uh, Sonya Deville, and. Uh, that's that's what's you know Goldberg put her in the arm bar, yeah put her in the arm bar Goldberg uh, and Roman um, makes sense they've been wanting to do that match, um, I don't see Goldberg win like like you could do like have Brock Lesnar get his retribution cost Roman the championship, then Goldberg could defend it but I don't see that happening I think that Reigns just beats Goldberg because I think that's they've been wanting to have Reigns beat Goldberg. Um, for a couple of years now. Well, has Goldberg resigned yet? I have not heard him resigning. I would expect that they would resign him. Probably should yeah. resign before you think about dropping the. Well, title well, they're not going to put the title on him unless he resigns. Yes. I'm sure of that. Yeah, yes. yeah, yeah. But there's a, that would be stupid. But um, I mean, I could I could see the argument because of the number being so high not to resign him, but I just sense that they probably will. Um, one to keep them away from the opposition, um, and the other because they can afford to do it, you know. And uh, you know, again, like the Saudis, you know, I mean, he comes. He's there's not too many guys from that era left. In fact, there's just about nobody. Uh, Sting is, but you know, the the people there, you know, they want those '90s guys because that's what they grew up on, and that's who the real wrestlers are to them. And uh, you know, there's. You know, you you can't really. I guess they could bring Hogan back. They brought him there one year, um, but the, you know they want that nostalgia stuff or not the old stuff. And Bill, you know, still Bill looks enough like Bill Goldberg uh, to pull it off. And so, just for that, you know, he's that attraction that they want. And WWE, I mean, the reality is with WWE is that uh, they have all of these guys under contract that are you know, good wrestlers, and um, the only time they get, you know, like, they, they never do programs with them that really get over other than, you know, obviously Reigns and uh, Lesnar is the exception. But for the most part, you know, just go in there and, and the stuff doesn't really get over. So you rely on the nostalgia acts, and they're running low on them, and Bill is one of the last ones. Undertaker's done. Um, you know, I mean, Shawn Michaels isn't going to wrestle again. Uh, Paul Levesque's not going to be. I I cannot imagine Paul Levesque would wrestle again. He may, I mean, but I we really, you know, I don't want to say it would surprise me because nothing surprises me, but it would be. I I can't see it. I can't see it. I mean, you're running. Um, you know, you got Brock and Ronda. You know, but the more they're around, the less special they'll be. So Goldberg, the one thing with Goldberg is he's never going to work more than a you know one or two matches a year, maybe three. So. You can always he can always be that guy. Um, it'll also be diminishing returns on Bill. You know, um, each time you bring him back, it is going to mean less. But um, you know, they rely on. You know, they're bringing Lita back. You know what I mean? That's what they're really relying on more and more, especially this time of the year, is bringing people back. If you're a big fan of these video clips here on YouTube, you're missing out on full length shows. Down there on the bottom right hand side of the screen, click that join button. And when you sign up, you'll have full access to all of the shows that we've got up on YouTube, over 300 at current count. Wrestling Observer Live, The Brian and Vinny Show, and Figure Four Daily with Filthy Tom Lawler and Lance Storm. Hit the join button, sign up today. You can also click subscribe, and you'll always be alerted as to when new shows and clips are available.